Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea here with another colour and chat. We're going to carry on doing this picture by Deborah Muller. Just a quick disclaimer, I just want to say that this is an adult channel and um, none of the videos on this channel are made for or intended for children. Um, we do talk about uh, very adult topics at some, um, on some occasions. So, let's crack on, shall we? We'll probably finish this one today and then start um, another one on well for friday so we're just gonna do the stern there's not a lot left to do on this one it's just fill-ins and the birds the beak of the floaty on the sky but um how are you are you all really well i hope so um, what are you colouring? Have you been colouring very much? I would like to say a very, very big hello to all the fantastic new subscribers I've got. Obviously, I love the current, all the subscribers I've already got, but I really do appreciate those of you who have just joined me. Um, and I know that was on the back of the flip through the new Colin Thompson uh, Colour in Heaven magazine. That's had, in one day, just over one day, over 400 views, and I really appreciate it, and I thank you so much. Um, obviously, with Cohen Heaven, I will try and get those flip-throughs up the day the magazine arrives. Hopefully, it's before publication date, but at the moment, there's no guarantee. The last few have come after, but this one came before it's actually due out today. You're seeing this on Wednesday. Um, I have started a picture in it. I made sure I finished at least one of the many whips I've got. I have got so many whips. Normally by now I've coloured in a few patterns. Um, um, and I haven't this month, I haven't finished anything um, until today. And uh, now I have finished colouring in uh, one of the pictures I was working on, which you will see, it's you won't see it for a bit because obviously it's only early in the month. I'm just going to adjust this again because it seems to be on a strange angle. Let me just get this right for you. There, that's better. I'll hold on to the book. So, yeah, I finally finished one and I've started one in the Colin Thompson. I know people who've coloured one or got the book yesterday and they coloured a page in a day. I can't work like that. I hate having too many whips. I have got so many on the go that I had to at least finish one before I started it and that's what I did. So I'm very happy to have done that. And now I can crack on with that one. Um, I'll probably, because it is um, so many little bits, I'm just gonna do a little bit of it every now and again when I feel like it. And I will get through it. There are so many pictures I want to color. And like I said, I've got so many on the go. What with uh, things like the first impressions video, you'll have seen the first one of those yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and the Crayola video, which is almost finished. I've got so many whips on the go that I just wanted to finish one before I started another one. Give her some nice bright eyes. What colour is that? Apple green. <laughs> we'll do a bottle of that colour as well, or a darker bottle. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really enjoying all the pages I'm colouring, even though um, I'm not finishing them. I, I'm just in that sort. I'm in a, a mood at the moment where I want to do whips. I want to start lots of different things so it's good to do something like this, the colouring chart, where I can just, I will at least finish a picture because we'll finish it together and then I'll start another one so yeah. So I have got lots of colouring books to colour in this month. I've got so many to get through. It is unbelievable. Well, it's not actually because I just keep buying them. 
It's like I'm saying, I'm not going to buy any more. I'm not going to buy any more. And then I end up putting half a dozen in my cart. It's like, really? You can't keep putting things in your cart, and It's like, well, yeah, actually you can. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, I said I wasn't going to buy any more. And I haven't bought many. I've, I've bought um, the ones I knew I was going to buy this month. But I was looking at some of the Jade Summer, and I'm not quite like, so I'm only doing a couple of Christmas pictures in Jade Summer this month. We're having a month off. Um, that although I am not colouring, there are still so many of the books that that company have done that I want, and I need to get them. It's that simple. I need them. So, I mean, I found three that I really want, and I've put them in my cart. To be fair, one of them is Christmas mandalas, I think. I think it was Christmas mandalas, I'm not sure. Because I really want that one. And I'm worried it's going to sell out and then not be available. Because that does tend to happen with their um, books. So many of the books that I wanted of theirs have now gone out of print and they're not reprinting them. So. But I've also got so many Jade Summer books I haven't coloured in. I counted them and posted in the Jade Summer group that I had 58 plus one PDF and that's wrong. It's actually 59 plus one PDF because Paul's got one um, downstairs. And I only counted the books that were up here, the Christmas one and the pattern one I'm coloured in. And I forgot to count the one he's colouring in. So it's 59 and there's three in my cart, which would take me up to 62. There are so many Jade Summer books, it's unreal. I'm not sure what colour to do these birds, you know. I'm really not. I'm thinking I might do some green. I'll give him a green eye as well, so he matches her. There we go. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? Oh yeah, it's going well. Work's been alright this week, although my computer crashed three times. Well, it didn't crash. The, one of the programs that we use froze twice yesterday. So I'm not very happy about that because it just puts you behind and you can't do as much. I'm one-to-one -to -one tomorrow, so. But I know it's going to be fine because I know I'm doing everything that they need me to, so. I know I'll be okay. I'm just going to do this as well. I, I like these pictures. This is a lovely book. I will be buying more Deborah Muller's as well. It's just I've got to find, I want some ha her Halloween ones. As well as her Christmas ones. So. But I'm trying, like I said, I am trying to colour in all of my books and I just seem to get so many and it's ridiculous. I, part of it is because I'm not at work. It's just too easy to sit and colour all day and then think, oh, I'm going to order another book. It's too easy. Too, too easy. It really is and... To be fair, Paul's pretty good uh, uh, with me and he, he doesn't mind as long as I'm saving some money, which I am, and I'm, um, I've got money to pay bills, all my bills and some of our house bills as well, and I share the shopping nursery fees when she's in nursery and all that, which I have. He doesn't mind, so he says, you don't spend a lot of money on yourself, you don't buy clothes much, you don't buy jewellery and makeup and I don't I, I bought a couple of lipsticks this week because I love lipsticks um I have got I did buy myself some new t-shirts a couple of months ago but I don't I, I buy clothes when I need them I don't buy them for the sake of having them I haven't got the space and um, so I don't do that so I don't buy a lot of shoes I love shoes don't get me wrong but I don't go anywhere to wear them so what's the point uh, 
I am trying to cut down on my eating rubbish and try and eat healthier like I did when I was pregnant with Jen um, to try and lose a bit of weight and I have lost some during this lockdown which is amazing I know a lot of people have put weight on because they're stuffing but I actually eat less because I'm not snacking as much during the day uh, she's got a little heart tattoo and she has just give that a red one I used to at work I mean I didn't snack much but I would have breakfast I'm gonna do these in the red in the corner and then I'd after I'd you know I'd go to work and I'd have a packet of Christmas bar chocolate possibly two as a snack and then I'd go home I'd either go to mum's and have lunch or if I was going to um, the post office to drop parcels off, I'd go to Greg's and spend a fiver or more in Greg's on a sandwich and a sausage roll for Jen because she likes their sausage rolls. But I'd also buy like a donut or something like that from there. And then I'd go home and eat a packet of crisps and some more chocolate. Then I'd have my dinner and then I'd probably scoff again in the evening. Now I'm having a sensible breakfast, so like, Yesterday I had scrambled egg on toast. Um, today I had spaghetti on toast. Tomorrow I'll have um, maybe poached egg or fried egg on toast. I like a bit of fried egg. And then I'll have beans on toast. And then I'll probably go back to scrambled. And I'll try and eat that. And I find that eating that extra protein and, and stuff it means I don't want to eat as much during the night which is great so we just got a nice light blue I think we'll go with we'll actually use the colour that's called sky blue um, it stops me from eating so much and, and I'm happy with that if I can you know stop so today I have not had any chocolate as I said for breakfast I, I had um, spaghetti on toast and then I didn't have a snack I had, well I, I, suppose, I suppose I did have a bit of mango yogurt but not a huge amount so that's because it's got fruit in it and yogurt and then I had my lunch which was a speed burger from Lidl's which is 333 calories it's a lot for what it is but a piece of fruit Nothing then till tea. When I had my main dinner, which was pasta and mince. Now the Paul and Jen have cheese on theirs. I don't because I'm not a big cheese person. I don't really like cheese at all. Pizza's all right, although they tend to make me ill. So I don't have them. Um, ocean pie is quite nice. Lasagna I love, so I don't mind it on things like that. I just don't like it cold really and I don't like it melted on stuff like that macaroni and cheese blah. but and cauliflower cheese but that's just me each to their own I'm so I don't eat a lot of cheese which is good for you because it's full of calcium but it's also quite fattening and some more fruit really I don't eat enough fruit and veg, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know, we're having scampi tomorrow, so we'll probably have um, chips, but we'll have like peas with it, so we'll have something healthy. Jennifer loves peas, so I'll do a tin, like a load of peas. I've got some in the freezer and I've got tins in the cupboard. So she can have peas with whatever she has. She only eats scampi. She loves peas and carrots and stuff like that, which is good really for a kid two and a half the end of this month and she loves her peas and carrots and she ate all of her pasta tonight normally she doesn't eat all of her dinner because she scoffs all day but today she had breakfast then she had more breakfast then she had more breakfast then she wanted to pack then at lunchtime she was eating a packet of crisps so she didn't want any lunch so i won't stop her from having a pack of crisps it just annoys me but then she did have some yogurt with me But then tea time, she was so hungry because she wouldn't eat her lunch. 
but she had all her pasta and mince, which is great because she never eats it all and she had the whole thing. And then she had some yogurt with Paul, because I'd had yogurt at lunch, so I didn't want any. Um, and then she wanted more cereal after we'd washed everything up. And I was like, yeah, let her have it. We've washed up, I'll go and sit with her. Because she likes to sit on the sofa with a tray on her lap. <laughs> I don't know where she got that from. And eats her cereal. And she has honey on her cereal. I didn't walk as much today. Yesterday I did over 11,000 steps, but today I haven't even done 10,000. I know that. I've done, at the moment, about 6,700. 6, which, not brilliant, but... We did go for a walk, but uh, it was raining, so we didn't go too far, unfortunately. And I did take it off when I did the washing up, so I did a bit more walking around that wasn't counted, but I'm not worried about that. I'm so stiff from all the walking. I had a long, hot soaking bath, which was lovely with some Radox muscle soak, and it has helped. I don't feel as stiff and as bad as I did. And I then washed my hair with the Kirk's Class Castile soap, which allegedly is what Jean Harlow used. I don't know what it's like because my hair's up in a turban drying. But I don't heat dry my hair, I just let it dry naturally. And if it's at night, in the summer, I, I will heat dry it in the winter just because it's quicker. In the summer, I just sleep with it wet. I shouldn't, but it doesn't seem to do me any harm. I don't get sick from it or anything, so. All I know is my roots are long. And while I'd love to get my hair done, I don't think I could cope with sitting in the salon for three hours. Or longer, because it's a, a lot of dye. Um, with a face mask on I just don't think I could do it I could probably do it for an hour and a half to two hours but any more than that and it'd be killing me and I don't want to put anybody at risk so I mean I don't I love my the hairdressers and I don't want to put them at risk and they don't want to put me at risk and it's quite right that they're asking people to wear PPE and, and masks and stuff. Um, I just don't think I could do it. I mean, if Dale contacted me or I saw him and he said, are you going to book one? I said, I'd love to, Dale, but I don't think I could sit there for that long with a mask on. Because I suffer from asthma and get claustrophobic. He goes, oh, come on. I said, well, okay. Have a look when you can fit me in. It'll have to be on a Saturday, because I've got, although I'm working from home, I still got to look after Jennifer and Paul's working from home as well, but he, he's in meetings most of the day at the moment. So on Monday, Paul had a meeting from one until five. It fin literally finished at ten to five. Oh, he said he was, he, ooh, it was long. And then he had a short one today, which was about half an hour. And he's got one for about an hour. Sorry, yeah, and another one for about an hour tomorrow. If that every day with him, the meetings, Paul Bugger. If you're in a meeting, you can't get no work done because you're talking about it instead of actually doing it. So I've got my one to one. I like my line manager. She's she's lovely. So. Hopefully everything will be okay with her and um, she'll be happy if she says anything about Tuesday's performance yesterday because I didn't do as many emails as I'd like to. I did less than yesterday and I had all my personal emails that people sent into my box to go through. I should just say, well, it was slow getting started for some reason, I don't know why. And then my SOP stopped twice, I had to restart the computer twice. It was just one of those days I just couldn't get anything done. She won't mind, she'll say, oh, that's okay, it happens, don't worry. I'll say, no, but I feel bad. I, I don't want the team propping me up. I want to be propping up the team. I want to be helping them. We're a team and we do all work together. So, this will be a shorter video today. 
which I'm not worried about. I'm quite happy for it to be a bit shorter because I can get off to sleep. <laughs> it's getting on. I don't know what time it is. I haven't actually looked. I don't even know where my phone is at the moment. It's here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, it is 10 past 11. So I need to get this finished so I can get off to bed soon. And I'm, I never get to bed, excuse me, much before midnight. So. And I had so much to bring up today that I just couldn't bring up my water. So when I go down to go to the bathroom, I'll bring it out then, which is fine. So. so depending on the weather, if it's nice tomorrow, I might go to my mum's. If it's raining, uh, we'll stay in. It's supposed to be raining the next couple of days, so. Strange weather. We have a beautiful day. Monday was beautiful and then Tuesday was very soggy. It wasn't heavy rain but it was that persistent fine rain that seems to soak everything as soon as you look at it. But uh, we haven't had any sales for a couple of days but all my posts have gone off now so everything. I'll know exactly where I am when I, up I didn't do it today. I normally do it the same day but I've also got to do my tax return. I've normally done it by now. Get it done soon. So we're going to see the Jennifer's new nursery soon. As I said, I am sad about moving her from the old one, but I could be working from home until January, February time. And if that is an option, I will because it's better for me. It doesn't cost me anything to get there. Okay, yes, we're using up more electric, so there's that and when but when Jennifer goes to nursery we won't have to have the TV on during the day we'll only have the, our, our laptops on so. but it's just one of those things where you have to make compromises you can't see what I'm doing because I'm coloring off screen I do. Well, I probably wasn't because I was holding the page down, but it's hard to tell because I can't look at the screen and colour at the same time because I'd be going all over the probably doing a Jennifer. So it was so funny the other day and I bought her a book. Well, I bought me a colouring book of My Little Pony because she already got one, but I accidentally ordered two. So she got another one, which is fine. I don't mind that. I could have put it away for Christmas, but I just let her have it. Why wouldn't I? I'm not mean. And she's only coloured two pictures in it, so and she does love to scribble. She's got into this habit of putting down one colour and then wanting to start a new page. She's like one colour and that's it. Um, she did on this My Little Pony one actually use three colours on the last picture, so hopefully she's getting over that. And it's all the same shade. It's not like it's not like she's doing one three shades of the same colour. It's just like all blue or all green same shade <coughs> excuse me oh dear me I'm tired don't go into bed after I have finished this one but then it is like I said it's getting late I'm tired I'm really, really enjoying this. I finally finished my Jack the Ripper book, so I'm going to be. Uh, someone said to do a reading update, what I've been reading and what I think of the books I've read. So, kind of like I used to do with the booktube. So, that will be on Saturday. It'll be going up, so I'll be filming it Friday night. Going up on a Saturday, which is fine. It's the best way to do it. So you might actually see me looking half decent with some makeup on. Though I don't need to bother because I don't put it on for the weekly vlogs. But, but then that is a look at my life. So it might feel nice to have some makeup on for a change. If I said I don't put it on and I've got no reason to. Excuse me sniffing at you. I do apologise. Just... Uh, 
my eyes are starting to sting again. Now, I really felt refreshed after my bath, uh, but now I'm starting to get dopey again. So. But we're nearly finished, so not too bad. It's not as short as I thought it was going to be. Um, still got the uh, bit to do on the clouds and the birds' beaks. This has been just a nice little fun picture. Decide what to do next. I'm sure I'll find something nice to start. We'll have a look. We've not coloured in Johanna Bassford, have we, on camera? I don't think we did one in World of Flowers, which we never finished. I have finished it. I finished it off camera. So if you'd like to, to see me colour that, let me know. Or alternatively, um, we could do the Frost Dragon from the Colour in Heaven Dragons. That's one I want to do, and I could show you how I do that. my... Sorry, I'm losing my... Yeah, it's gone through a bit on that one. I'm not worried about it, though. It's because my backing page has moved. It slipped. Yeah, so I might do the Frost Dragon, actually, because I really want to get started on that. Um, I haven't picked a page from Magical Jungle yet. It's the only one I haven't coloured in a her book, so it's in my To Be Coloured pile for this month. So what I do at the beginning of the month is I pull a load of books that I want to colour in, and then when I'm getting ready to colour in them, I go around and uh, have a look for a picture and put a, a tag in it. So, oh, I'm going to do this one, or I'm going to do that one and so on. Um, but I haven't done that in that book yet. Like I said, I do know that I want to colour in the, the Frost Dragon. So I think we'll do the Frost Dragon, unless you'd prefer Magical Jungle. Just let me know, you've got a couple of days because I won't be filming it for a few days yet. Maybe I can do both actually. I think I might do Frost Dragon. And then I'll have a look at something for Magical Jungle. And then we'll do one in Magical Jungle, if you like. I've just got so many books. <laughs> I must stop buying them. But it is very hard when you see so many that you want. It's like even that um, Jade Summer Exteriors book, which I didn't want. I've seen some pictures done from it now and it's like, oh well actually it's quite tempting. Oh, I wish I was at the beach. I wish I was in the sea. Well, not right this minute because it's night time, but do you know what I mean? I've m I missed my holiday this year. We don't even know if we'll be able to go away later in the year because nobody knows what's going on. So the pubs reopened in England. Obviously, I'm in Wales, so they haven't opened yet. Um, last Saturday on the 4th of July. Wales, they're thinking of opening on the, I think it's the 14th of July, but only ones with outside spaces. So a lot of the pub chains are saying they're not going to bother because they're not interested in just opening part of their pub. So you can't go inside a pub, you have to stay outside, which is okay if it doesn't rain. Not that I mind, I like quite like being out in the rain. So I think... Um, Brains, which is the worst brewery, have said they're not going to. Weatherspoon said they're not going to bother, I think. And um, and so on, some of them. Uh, I'm hoping my local, which is an independent, will open. Um, just simply because he has a big garden space. He's up by the canal, so there's plenty of space where people can... I'm not going to do... I'm just going to go around the edge. People can um, socially distance properly. So he's got plenty of outdoor space. So I'm hoping he's going to reopen. He's going to make an announcement next day or so. 
because you know and yeah I would go up there and have a drink but luckily they're in you know they are only opening oops it stopped don't know how much so yes yeah, so they're only opening outside of spaces in Wales which is weird because you can go and have your hair cut but you can't go inside a pub I don't know it all sounds a bit weird to me but I mean I like, I like having my hair cut so I wouldn't complain um, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, three pubs in England have already been forced to close again because they've had somebody go in who has been tested positive for COVID-19 and they have had to shut to get their staff tested, contact every single person at the pub because what you've got to do is if you come into a pub, you've got to give contact details to the staff so that if they do have an outbreak or somebody tests positive they can contact you so you can self-isolate so but uh yeah the problem is obviously somebody must have had the test before they went out to the pub and then got the results back on the monday and now the pubs are having to close again they haven't deep clean it's not ideal but this is what's going to be happening for the time being anyway we finished this picture so there is our lovely deborah muller girl in her floaty enjoying the summer weather i hope you've enjoyed this current chat like i said it is a little bit shorter than normal we we're just finishing it off we will be starting the frost dragon on uh friday's current chat episode so I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, leave me a comment down below. If you, you know, want to see me do ma magical, oh, I forgot what's jungle, um, just let me know. And I will, I will, I always take your, your suggestions on board. If there's something you want, just let me know and I'll try and add it to my list and accommodate it at some point. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.